For my U.S. government research project, I would like to talk about justice system reform in the U.S., in which I would in particular like to point out the case of Khalif Browder. In 2010, Khalif Browder was arrested in New York City at the age of 16 for under the accusation of theft. Khalif was sent to Rikers Island to await trial. Uh, Rikers Island is known as the worst prison in the state of New York. Most of that three years that Khalif spent on Rikers Island was in solitary confinement as a juvenile. Psychologists point out that as a juvenile, solitary confinement has catastrophic psychological effects, especially on younger people or those with mental illnesses. The district attorney uh, knowingly kept Khalif imprisoned when they knew that their, uh, their, their witness had disappeared uh, and actually had fled the United States. Um, they, they pushed back uh, trial. Uh, in hopes that Khalif would plead guilty and would be released in order for him to be released on parole or probation um, and keep him within within the justice system. Uh, Khalif Browder was released from jail in 2013 at the age of 19. <clears throat> uh, Khalif was dragged through court inside jail and outside of jail after he had uh, file a lawsuit against the state of New York for wrongdoing. Um, unfortunately, in 2015, Khalif Browder committed suicide due to mental and physical abuse sustained in prison. Now, I think that our U.S. justice system needs to take a good, hard look at how we deal with juvenile court cases <clears throat> and imprisonment. Um, we need to make sure that juveniles receive due process and that their rights are acknowledged and respected. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, innocent until proven guilty, not guilty until proven innocent.